Hey everyone, okay, so I'm gonna be reviewing Illusion Tinted Moisturizer, which is oil-free and SPF 15. This is from Hourglass, it costs 46 pounds here in the UK, which is an incredible amount of money. Now this shade is in beige. Um, I'm gonna be applying it to half of my face so you can see the kind of coverage and color that it gives. The shade ranges are actually quite dark. Even the very, very lightest one is quite dark. So if you kind of fall between light and relatively deep skin, you'll be okay, but very, very light and very, very dark really aren't catered for at the moment. I've had some troubles with the pump in this. It's spurting it out, but it seems to be a bit better as it's gone on. This really is more like a foundation than it is a tinted moisturizer because it's quite a thick product and it does give great coverage. So I'm gonna show you with the tutorial. I'm applying one pump to the back of my hand and I'm gonna dab it on my face and then use the foundation brush to blend it. So you can see I'm just applying it haphazardly. Then I'm gonna take the foundation brush and I'm gonna blend this in. Now this foundation or tinted moisturizer, however you wanna say it, is actually better suited for those of you with normal to slightly dry skin because it does have quite a luminous finish and that means that those of us with oily skin, while it looks great for a little while, it becomes very, very glossy and shiny really, really quickly. Now this shade, as I mentioned, is in beige. And while it does a good job of covering most of the sort of redness that I have around the nose and cheek area, as you can see maybe here, it doesn't actually cover it all. So I would need to use more product. And bear in mind that I used a single pump just for this one side of the face. So if I was to use that for the entire face, I would still need some more coverage because it's just not enough. You would need to set this with a powder, but you don't have to. Another thing to point out is that a lot of people have said that it's very, very reflective and contains shiny, tiny particles. I haven't noticed that myself, but enough people have commented on it before to make it um, that you should be aware of it. While I haven't noticed it in this one, a lot of people have mentioned it. Great product, but really isn't worth 46 pounds for this kind of product because it doesn't contain any of the bells and whistles that you would expect. Again, this should be around about 20 pounds cheaper than it is, and that would still make it a high-end brand. So I can't quite work out the price tag, but it's still very, very nice, and at least you get a nice finish to the skin if that's the kind of look you're looking for. See you in a second, bye-bye.